Hey, what's up, guys? It's, of course, me, brand new Team Deathmatch on Wet Work. And nothing I re really do in this game is going to be entertaining to watch. Mostly because when I snipe, I'm just a hard scope sniper. I, I sit back. I guess you can call me a camper when I snipe. My theory is that you can't camp with a sniper rifle, of course. But... I will be trying to use this video to give some helpful tips on snipers, or for snipers. And my first tip is watch Weezy's video. He should be posting his point of view from this video, which means you'll be able to hear us talking. And just listen to the way that we communicate. Both of us were sniping this game, and we'll be calling people out, telling them each other where they are. And that, of course, also tells Pip. And that is just so important not only just to kill them but so you know where or if people are counter sniping which it's wet work there's generally always people trying to counter snipe at least at first until we scare them off so check that out it's actually a really good way to good way to learn is just to watch next I guess I'll just use examples when they come up because I'm not doing anything right now. Oh, here we go. When you use your radar, you know, the mini-map shows you a kind of idea, but if you hit pause, you get the full map, and you can see exactly where they are, which, on wet work, you can see, you know, where they're counter sniping from. If they're on the far side, sometimes it's difficult to see if they're outside, but still on the far side. So you're like, okay, they're on the left, so you know where to look fight for airspace, which, <laughs> you know, I remember that used to be a bigger game than Call of Duty 4, is just fighting for the airspace. You'd have to, when you got a helicopter, you'd have to spam the button, just racing each other, but I digress. So, so far we've got communication, learn to use the radar more effectively, airstrike the crap out of them, and... You know, if you don't think you're going to die, don't be afraid to call in your helicopter. Don't try to string them. Because it just leads to disappointment. Ugh. Those are my really, I guess, the biggest tips I can offer. I know this is a very boring video to watch. and I guess I'll mention a little bit of our strategy. Like I mentioned, me and... Weezy are up there sniping, which not only is it just because we like to snipe, we like to demoralize the other team. Because if they're keep if they keep rushing forward and they keep running into us, they have to play a bit more cautiously. And Pip's down on the deck, destroying them because she loves this map. She does great on this map. So me and Weezy, I mean, sometimes we'll have good games, which is kind of what happened in this one, but on other wet work games we're just distractions while Pip destroys them and I don't just mean like good for her I mean it'd be a great game for anyone now like I said this game is unusual because like I personally did very well going like 20 something and oh Weezy himself went 14 and 0, which is more typical, I'd say, is getting 10 to 15 kills, <laughs> and sometimes a lot less. Uh, one of the other wet work games we had, Weezy went like 18 and 0. I only went 4 and 0. Yeah, it, it was it was not a good game for me, but I don't remember what Pip went, but I remember. She led the team. Uh, as you can see, like I said, I'm a hard scoper. I don't, I don't quick scope. I don't no scope. This is what I think sniping really is. And you've probably seen from my shots, I'm not like a great sniper, but I get the job done. I at least provide good intelligence, telling people where they are. Of course, only people in my party can hear it. So, I let my other team suffer. 
Uh, it's actually one of the reasons I really love the recon in a battlefield is, yeah, I like sniping, but I can call people out. Which is good, you know, teamwork and whatnot. Uh, that's really all I have to say. So, note to you guys. If you ever play us on wet work, you know where we'll be. And I do sympathize for the other team, I guess. Because they got the wrong... The, bad spawn. And that also had a lot to do with it. This spawn is a lot better than the other one for sniping. I mean, you can do decent at the other one, especially if you know what you're doing, but this side definitely has the advantage. Because we have a clear view, and I'm sure to them it just looks like the tip of our helmets are shooting them. But anyway, that's wet work. Kind of a boring game, I know, but good score, so thought I'd post it.